All right, welcome back. Good evening. Good good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Whatever time zone you in, let's get started. I just want to say welcome back. Thank you. I appreciate you for your continued subscription. Let's get started. Today's topic is surprise yourself and others with dyslexia. I know recently I tackled surprise yourself and others with ADHD. It's time to talk to our dyslexia community. All right. First thing I want you to do is hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Why? Because we're growing. This is a community where we're growing, we're winning, and we validate being victorious in our learning style. All right? I want you to get better, and I want you to drive yourself to the next level, no matter what, regardless of your feelings. I want you to make a decision right now to surprise yourself that you can be successful with your learning style. Right now, we talk to our people with dyslexia. I want you to challenge yourself, improve yourself. I want you to commit yourself. I remember somebody said, the achievement of your goal is assured the moment you commit yourself. I want you to commit yourself to success, to winning at being a person with dyslexia. I have a lot of heroes who have dyslexia. I learn from them just as much as they learn from others. And I want you to challenge yourself to be the very best you can to validate you winning. So first, I want you to make a decision to be successful and to surprise yourself with new success despite having dyslexia. I want you to make a decision. And every day you wake up, the second thing you need to do is reinforce that decision. I'm going to be successful. I'm going to put new success in my life. I'm going to make new progress. I'm going to achieve new things. I'm going to grow with my skills and I'm going to grow with my IQ skills and my EQ skills. I'm going to grow. I'm going to get better. I'm going to sharpen my listening skills. I'm going to learn how to listen and interpret answers with confidence, regardless of my learning style. That's what you need to tell yourself every day. Work number three on your listening skills. We we know that dyslexia people tend to interpret the world a certain way. So if you interpret the world a certain way, that's fine. Be cool with that. Next thing you need to do is I want you to interpret the world how you do. Work on your skills. And I want you to write down your goals. Whatever your goals are, write them down. And all right, meditate on what you've accomplished in the past, but now set out on new success. New success is coming to you, but you're working on yourself. On this channel, in this community, we encourage you to work on yourself because personal growth, professional growth will drive everything else. You personally growing will influence new progress, new success, new achievements, and working on yourself is going to put you ahead of those who don't work on themselves. So, Continue to set new challenges for yourself, new goals, new learning styles, new achievements. And the more you do that, you'll challenge yourself. You'll find yourself planning to reach these new challenges, these new goals, these new feats. You got this. And the next thing I want you to do is I want you to actually put the work in. Put the work in. Let the results come as they do. You focus on what you can do. And that is the behaviors. Yes, we set goals, but we have to act on the behaviors that we can do physically, manually, mentally, and emotionally and intellectually every day to reach those goals that we set. Now, I want you to work this plan. Give it time. Be patient. And don't be hard on yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself and don't be too easy on yourself. Allow yourself to grow. If you've been pushing on the gas, ease up a little bit, but don't let off the um, the gas. You are going in the right direction. You just need to work the plans and actually stay focused. All right. You got this. Stay focused. Stay positive. Stay hopeful. You can do this. All right. I want you to work these plans, whatever that you are corresponding them as plans to these specific goals that you have. And I want you to work these plans. Give it time. The results come when they do. You don't 
choose when the results happen. They just happen when they happen. And when they happen, you can check it off the list and you can pat yourself on the back. But once you stay with it, give it time, be consistent, be patient because they happen when they do. And remember, last thing I want you to do is I want you to be consistent and not I want you to be consistent and persistent and refrain from comparison comparison of your success to somebody else's. I don't compare what I tell my people with ADHD to my people with dyslexia. Why? Because we have different races we're running and we are going after different things, different goals, different dreams, but we're still headed towards success. But you got to be consistent. And lastly, after we learn how to be consistent, persistent, and not compare ourselves to others, I want you to let the success happen and be cool, be calm, be polished, and get ready to set new, higher, and bigger goals because it's going to happen for yourself. And you got this. All right. I want you to not brag about your goals to anyone. Stay focused. Simply work the goals. Simply write them down, write your plans, and work the goals as they come. And as you work them, stay consistent, focus on the behaviors that you can control. And when you are working them, the results will come. Remember that. All right. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And remember, results, they come. But you got to stay with it. All right. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you. You can do this. I believe in you. And remember, others with dyslexia have gone before you and been more successful than you can ever think possible. But you got to find your own unique success. You got this. Let's do this. So surprise yourself and surprise others. You got it. All right. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Keep growing. Keep getting better. You got this. I believe in you and I believe in me too. Let's keep growing. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If this video helped you in any way, shape or form, share it with others. All right. Peace.